Hey guys, today's video is going to be all about what's on my iPhone and how I edit my Instagram selfies. This is one of the most requested things, especially on my Instagram. And I quickly want to address something because it's very obvious um, on my face. Basically, if you can tell, my smile is crooked and that is because I went to the dentist the other day to get a cavity filled. And you know when you go to the dentist and you have a cavity filled, you know you have to have a shot to numb the area. Well, basically wherever he put the shot, like in my tooth or in my gum, it bruised a nerve on this side of my face. So it's going to take a few weeks for it to heal up. It's overly embarrassing. I know the people that don't like me are going to be like obsessed with this and obsessed with the fact that my smile is crooked. What can you do? It's it's one of those things that can happen when you go to a dentist or get work done on your teeth. And unfortunately, that happened with me. This is just the reason why people are scared to go to the dentist. This is just like the prime reasons. So my smile is going to be like this uh, for I don't know how long. They said it takes a few weeks to heal. It could take six weeks. It could take four months. It could take something. I don't know. Um, but just bear with me. I'm, I don't know of ways to help it heal faster. Icing, I've heard, doesn't really make it heal any faster. It's just time because a nerve takes a long time to literally heal. So I've done my research and I can't find anything to help out. So it's one of those things that you can't fix and it's just, you gotta work through it. If you guys have any tips, if you've ever had a bruised nerve, will you let me know how you handle it and how you deal with it because I've never had one before. This is very new to me. I don't know if you can hear um, the sickness in my voice, but I have this disgusting cold that is going around and <coughs> No, this video is just, I'm just a hot mess in this video. My smile's crooked, I'm sick as a dog, I have like sinus congestion stuff going on. I'm just a mess. So anyways, onto the video. You guys are wondering, my phone case is from Time Los Angeles. I've mentioned her before, she's not sponsoring the video whatsoever, but I just love this case and I think it's so cute and if you have a black iPhone, it's just super sleek. I also quickly want to say, I don't have a ton of apps on my iPhone just because I get a little... Like, it gives me anxiety to have a lot of apps on my phone. Like, I cannot handle it. It just drives me nuts. I don't know how people have three pages of apps because <laughs> I have to have one page of apps. If I have any more than that, I will go insane. I'm going to show you guys what I have, though, and hopefully you like it. The main reason I wanted to do this video was just to show you guys how I edit my Instagram selfies just so you can see, you know, different apps, and maybe you can try to edit them that way, too. Um, there's kind of like a certain pattern that I use for my selfies to kind of keep it along a theme. So you'll see that in the video though, but thank you guys for watching and let's go ahead and jump on into the video. Okay, so this is my home screen of my iPhone. Now like I told you guys in the beginning, I don't have extra pages because that kind of stuff drives me insane. So I have one page where I see all of my apps. I like to be able to see everything, see the apps I need to use, whatever, whatever. So of course you have the camera and then we have Twitter here and let's see. Who's on here? Do you see your name? Anybody see your name? Love it. So this is my Twitter. I'll leave a link for it down below so you guys can check it out. As well as my Instagram. And those are my little babies right there. If you don't know, I have two dogs and I love them. But yeah, this one is my Instagram. I'll leave these down below. Look at Kim. Looking gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, anyways. Then we have, of course, photos, Luke, music, weather, notes. I actually use notes a lot. I didn't expect to use notes as much as I do, but I use it literally all the time. Then we have finance, which finance is more of a personal section, so I'm not going to show you that. But what's really funny about finance is I have the Domino's app and Fitness Pal right by each other. Like, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> And then we have navigation. So this is where I keep the apps that the iPhone comes with, which um, I really don't like them. I wish Apple would give you the opportunity to delete them, like Newsstand, no, Passbook, no, Game Center. Like I don't want any of these apps, but you can't delete them. So I just put them all in this little folder so they can all hang out or whatever. And I also keep my iTunes and App Store over here and iTalk, which is just a voice recorder, and that's what I used to use to do my voiceovers, but not anymore. Then we have photography, which we'll get into that in just a moment. We have The Hunt, Calculator, SoundCloud, Safari, Facebook, Pinterest, which 
I love Pinterest. It's one of my guilty pleasures. So let's see what's going on on Pinterest. Look at that freaking fridge. Hello. I'm going to pin that to my future house because you never know. <laughs> but yeah, I love Pinterest. I'll just sit on here at night for hours. I just, I can't deal with it. So I'll leave all my links down below. Then we have Poshmark Messenger, which is like the app you have to have if you want messages from people on Facebook. It's really stupid, but whatever. And then we have Pandora, Snapchat, and Yahoo Mail. Now my Snapchat is a personal Snapchat. It is not a public Snapchat. I've had a lot of people ask me about that. Um, I don't have a public one to give out to you guys. Um, this one's just for friends and family, so I'm sorry about that, but maybe one day I'll create a public one. If you want me to do that, then leave a comment in the comment box, but for now, I just have one for family and friends, and it's just personal, so I don't give that out to everybody. So moving on to the photography folder, this has a ton of different apps. So in this folder, I have Repix, PicFrame, Wood Camera, Reflection, Photo Toaster, Pick Lab, Square Ready, VSCO Cam, Cream Cam, Rookie, PicGram Free, Pick Lay, and Photo Wizard. There's only about four apps that I actually use in this, so. First off, the one that I use all the time is Rookie, and this is the one I've been using for quite some time now, and I really, really, really like it. So, I'm going to show you guys how I edit a selfie. So, what I'm going to do, so I'm going to show you guys how I edit my selfies. I'm going to take this photo right here, which you can see the color is kind of off. It's super bright. I need to edit it to have more color. So, as you can see, the color is just off. It's very ashy and very, very bright. It's just overexposed. So we're gonna fix that. First thing I like to do, if my color, if my picture is not overexposed, like if there's not a lot of brightness, what I'll do, like normally when I'm doing a outfit of the night post, the first thing I will do is I will go to warm light, which is right here, and then I'll take sheer wood, which is the first, the second one in the thing, and it just really brightens up the photo. So when I'm doing an outfit of the night post, I have to use this because most of the time it's dark in my room, and you can't see the outfit, so this actually helps a lot. And you can see how there's like little dots on here. I'll take this and just tone it down so the light leak is gone. And then this one you can adjust so you can have a little bit or a lot. And usually I do about that much when the picture is dark. But for this photo, we're not using that. So going back to the color wheel, we're going to go ahead and go into Mellow Moody. This is another thing that I use all the time on my photos. It's just every time I post a photo, I use this one. It's called Breezy. And this one also has a texture to it. So you just want to click it again and then take the texture and turn that off. And then this one, it just kind of depends on what I'm feeling. Um, you can see it goes a little bit darker, a little bit lighter, whatever. So I usually take mine about halfway like that. Just adds a little bit more color. And then I like to go to this part right here and then slide over here to the vibrance area. And I will adjust this so that the photo has more color. And I love this one. Usually I use it a lot because my lights tend to wash everything out. So I put it up pretty high just so you can see the true color of everything, like my hair, my lips. And I don't look like a white ghost. So we're just going to go ahead and check that one off. And then that's pretty much where I stop. The only two that I use the most is the one in Warm Light, which is Sheerwood, and then I'll go in and use the Mellow Moody Breezy. So those are the two I use most often, and it's very, very rare that I switch it up. So it kind of also keeps a pattern to my photos, the color at least. Um, if you go on my Instagram and look at my feed, you'll know what I'm talking about. So we're going to go ahead and save this to Camera Roll, and it shows you the before and after. It's really cool. And then we're going to go ahead and exit out of that. And then if I need to use this, I will, but this one's Cream Cam. Um, I don't use this too, too often, but if I need to, I will. So I'll just upload the photo to it. And this makes you look really airbrushed and kind of fake in a way. It just softens the picture. Sometimes people overdo this and it looks too done. But what I like to do is I take mine to about 20% if I'm going to use it. That way it just kind of smooths out the photo and it's not too drastic and you can still see like the strands of my hair, my contour, you know, the things you want to see. So I don't take mine too far, I usually do it to about 20 or less, but we're not going to use that because we don't need it today. Um, but if you did want to use it, you would just click this, save photo, and then it would be done. 
But after I edit that one photo, we're gonna go into Square Ready, and Square Ready is an app where you can adjust the size so that the whole photo fits on Instagram. So we're just going to tap in the photo like this, and you can see that it doesn't fit right now, but you can go to this little guy right here that has two arrows. You can just click this, and it automatically adjusts the picture into the box for you so that this whole thing shows up on Instagram. Sometimes I like to take it in just a little bit more to have a little bit more of a white border, but it just depends on how I'm feeling for the day. Most of the time, I'll just leave it like this um, so you can see the whole photo really nicely. And then after you do that, you just go ahead and save it to your camera roll. And then it's time to upload it to Instagram. So I'll go in here. She is... Girl, look at her. She posted so many damn photos. Okay. So we're going in here, uploading the photo. Now one thing I do like to do sometimes, if I feel like the photo doesn't have enough color for me or enough warmth, I'll go into the tools section and go to warmth and kind of adjust it a little bit so it's a little bit warmer. I like my photos to be more on the warm side than cool. I used to have photos that were very, very cool, but now I try to do more on the warm side just because it shows the colors and everything a lot better. So usually I'll click that and then click next and then of course write in the caption, tag my outfit and then post it to Twitter or whatever. If you're ever wondering what top I'm wearing, more than likely I will have tagged it in the photo. So all you gotta do is tap the photo. I'll show you right here. So like in this one I posted today, a lot of people ask where I get certain things. Most All you gotta do is just tap the photo and it will tell you where everything is from. I try to do that every single time. If I don't, I forget. But for the most part, I tag pretty much everything. So if you were wondering, I do that as well. But that's basically how I edit my selfies. It's really, really easy. I don't do anything too dramatic. Um, I'll leave my favorite apps, like I said, down below so you guys can check them out. I can basically delete all of these. Like, I really don't need them. Um, but pick frame. This one I used to use all the time if I wanted a side-by-side -side photo. So I never used, like, these other ones for anything. But I would take this one right here. I would go to style and take the border off. And then I would click whatever picture I wanted in here. So, like, we could do this one. And then click this one as well. But to kind of change it up a little bit, you could tap the picture and hit the rotate mirror part. And you could do like a mirror or something and have it look like that, like double the trouble right there, um, make it look cool. Or you could just twist it around like that, which is what I used to do all the time. So I could do like a close up on my makeup and then have the full picture on the other side. Just depends on whatever you want to do. Um, it's just fun to play around with these things and just kind of you know, see what you can do. I think this one has filters too, but the effects aren't that great. So you can see they're just a little too much. Like you can't adjust these. They're just a little too much. So yeah, that's basically how I edit everything and what's on my iPhone. Let me know what your favorite app is for pictures down below in the comments. I don't think I'll switch mine up, but I always love looking at different ones. So yeah, if you guys like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! Bye! Daisy, she's so shy. Like, she knows when a camera is on her and filming her because she's like such a diva and turns away. She's like, no, mom. Lily! Lily! Say hi to everybody! Hi! Say hello! See, Daisy's like, no, mom, you have the camera on me? Screw you. <laughs>